Hi guys, I'm back. I just wanted to show you a few things that I'm really, really enjoying this month so far. Um, actually, they were my April favorites too. And I'll just start off by showing you. One of the things is this Nivea Essentially Enriched Body Lotion. Guys, this stuff is gorgeous on the skin. If you guys are gonna do like a fake tan and you want something on like the next day after you take your shower to make your skin really shine, this is it. Oh my God. You put this on your hands or your legs and you get this most beautiful, healthy, gorgeous looking skin. Um, of course, I love the smell of it too. It's got almond oil in it and guys, it's wonderful. I put this on at night. I wake up and my arms and legs are so soft after using this. Um, I'm not getting paid to say this. This wasn't sent to me. I bought it. I found it at Walmart actually. It's over in the skincare section like with the lotions and stuff like that. Wonderful stuff. If you just like a clean smell but like that beautiful glowy skin. I mean look at my my skin never glows. My skin is so dry and this stuff, it just makes it look, it makes my hands look younger and I absolutely love it. If you have any crepiness on your arms or anything, I guess it's the almond oil or whatever is in it. It just makes your skin look young again. So that's the first thing. The next thing is this Neutrogena Healthy Skin Eye Perfector. And this is one of those ones that you turn it from the end. I love this stuff. I use it underneath my eyes. And actually, I could use a little bit right now. It just brightens up underneath your eyes. So nice. And it kind of reflects the light. It doesn't settle into fine lines like this does. Although this is my favorite. This is the Age Rewind Eraser. This one's the Treatment Concealer. But I have another one that it's the... That one's Treatment also. I have one, it's, it's the Shadow Corrector. Hold on. This one's Treatment Concealer. I don't know, it, it comes in the same type thing, but it's, a, it's like a different color. It's more pinky. But I use the Bare. As you all know, I love this stuff, but it will crease if you don't put powder on it right away. But this one doesn't, and it's lasted me a long time. Another thing I'd like to touch on is the Maybelline Velvet Soft Matte Hydrating Foundation. And this one is in number 15, Ivory. And it's their first gel whipped foundation. And it goes on flawless. It is so nice on. I have it on right now, and I've had this on since this morning. No touch-ups during the day, this is it. And I'm not a big foundation girl. Usually I'll just use the Maybelline, put it under my eyes, down the middle of my nose, around my nose, and you know, on my chin or whatever you know, down the center of my face and I'll just touch up like any spots. But this, I love it. It just blends beautifully into the skin and it hides the pores and it's flawless. So that's another thing that I am loving. Oh, another thing is my nail polish that I have on and it's in the color Blanc, B-L-A-N-C. And it is a pure white and this is two coats with, what did I put over it? Oh, this one, Sage Feet over it. So two coats of the white and then the sage feet over it. I love it. It's just so clean and crisp and fresh for spring, summer, and I like the one that's like a baby pink. It's like this, like, like a chalky pink, but it covers your own nails like really good. And it looks beautiful in the summertime with a tan. And also, if you guys have ever tried the Pixie, Target is the only place that I've seen it. This is the Shea Butter Lip Balm in the color Honey Nectar. It's just a really natural color. I don't even think I don't know if you can see it or not. Yeah, there you go. It just feels so emollient on your lips. It's perfect to wear to bed at night. Matter of fact, you look good after you put it on too, so your lips will look nice when you go into bed. And another thing I've been wanting to show you guys, it is the Swiss Apple Wrinkle Remedy, and it's by Lather. It looks like this. It's a gel, um, kind of a clearish white gel, and it's made with apple nectar. This serum is wonderful. 
you put this on your face and honest to God, your face just, it's like, it sucks right into your skin. Your face feels tight afterwards. It feels like a baby face. And I've been using this now for probably the last two months. I use it in the morning before I put on my makeup and I use it in the evening after I wash off my makeup followed by my Olay Regenerist, this one, gel moisturizer. Okay, Swiss Apple Wrinkle Remedy. This anti-aging treatment is formulated with stem cells from the rare Swiss Apple which is particularly rich in phytonutrients, proteins, and young living cells is known for its long life and excellent storability. That's what I like about this. It, you don't have to worry about, you know, having to refrigerate it or anything like that. The internal fluid of these plant cells contain components which contribute to the visible decrease of wrinkle depth and promote the self-renewing capacity of the skin, helping to preserve a youthful look and vitality. Just a little bit goes a long way. Just one little squirt will do your whole face. And guys, it's put out by Lather. This is what the box looks like. I wanted to give it a good month or so before I told you guys about it because I'm trying it out. It was sent to me by the company. They asked me if I would give it a review. And I'll tell you guys, I don't know if I ever would have tried it. I've heard of the brand Lather before. I've heard that they have some wonderful products. But this one, it's grabbed my heart over the last two months. And I really, really love it. I'm not getting paid for this. They just sent me this to try. It stores for a long time in this bottle. You don't have to worry about it going bad. And look it up online, Lather, and then type in Swiss Apple Wrinkle Remedy. And if you haven't tried this yet, I will put the code down the bottom if you guys want to give this a try. I highly recommend this. Another thing, I bought it this past weekend. I went to Boston and I met my daughters in Boston. Nicole, my youngest daughter, is in from Sweden. We picked her up at the airport, my oldest daughter Jen and I, and we had a fantabulous night in Boston. We went to the Cheesecake Factory and had a beautiful dinner. Hi, Jen. Say hello. Hi, YouTube. Little Prosecco. with asparagus and that was quick. Wow. potatoes. That was quick. Thank that you. That was quick. I was even bored back there. Yeah. <laughs> and Jen got the same thing and Nicole got, what'd you get Nick? Steak tacos. We're in Boston and this is the street where the Boston bombing was. This is one of the places there where it says no more hurting people. Right. And this is the street. Hawk Tower, and then here's the library behind us, Boston Public Library. It's like a bit of a dryer, so we had to like go out and get her a new one, and he was like, I'm going to Lowell to get a dryer. We had wine, we had champagne. It was just a really fun night. And then we went shopping in the mall inside the Prudential Building. And of course, I had to go to Sephora. First of all, when I got into Boston, I pulled up to the hotel and it's Lowe's. I don't know if you've ever heard of it, if you've been around Boston at all. 
L-O-E-W-S, and it's an old police precinct that they converted into a hotel. The rooms were wonderful. It was just a really nice experience staying there. Valet parking, you don't have to worry about your car. The valet picks it up out front, parks it, brings in your suitcases, and they just really take good care of you. I went in, my oldest daughter, Jen, and had the lights on. She had a bottle of wine. She had crackers and cheese for us so we could relax before we went to the airport to pick up Nicole. That was just so special. And she gave me my Mother's Day gift. She gave me a gift certificate because my kids know me. They know I love makeup. And so I went to Sephora. We don't have one here in Maine. So that was a nice treat going to the one in Boston. So anyways, Karen from the Two Orchids has talked about this product a few times on her videos and she swears by it. And it's the Peter Thomas Roth Pumpkin Enzyme Mask. And let me show you how big this is. It's huge and you only use a little bit. So I bought this and oh my God, it smells so good. Let me just show you what it looks like. Mm. It smells like a pumpkin pie and it's got like little granular things in it. Anyways, it's a mask and you put it on, leave it on for like 10 minutes. Then what I do is I wet my fingers and then I go in circular motions all over my face and the little granules in it get off all the dead skin. And guys, when you wash your face, it is so smooth. Every pore is cleaned out. Your face is polished. It looks beautiful. It feels so clean and shiny and your makeup goes on beautiful the next day. Karen, you were absolutely right. And you didn't leave me wrong on this one, girl. I love it. And another thing I picked up while I was there is the Better Than Sex Too Faced Mascara. This, I love. I love this. I love the wand. I have it on right now. I have puny little lashes. But this one made my lashes actually stand up at attention and it is waterproof. Absolutely love it. And of course, while we're at the hotel that night, I did my mask when we were sitting there in the room watching TV. I put this on and I had my bathrobe on and it was just such a treat. And I really had a good time with the girls and I hated to see the weekend end. I got a little emotional because it was like the first time that I had both daughters with me at the same time because Nicole has lived in Stockholm, Sweden for the past few years. And so this is the first time that we've all been together. And the two of them put this mother-daughter night together for me and it just made me feel really special. And um, I had a great time and I really enjoyed myself. So guys, um, I am a wreck. I have been, I mean, I have a flannel shirt on. This is this morning's makeup. It's like almost, I think it's like 7.30 at night right now. So what I'm gonna do is go get in my PJs and I am gonna do this mask again tonight. So that's it guys. And I just wanted to come on and say hi to you tonight. I haven't really had any face-to-face -face time with you for a while. And it's not because I haven't been feeling good, because I'm feeling great. It's just that the weather is getting nice again. I have been working out in the yard like a dog all last week. My husband and I just checked everything off our checklist that we needed to do out there. I bought some marigolds to plant because they're pretty hardy, so they should be good. Let's see, tomorrow's supposed to be in the high 60s, so I can't wait. And um, it's rained for the last two days, so I've just been kind of hanging out inside, recuperating from my weekend. Oh, I got lost on the way home. My GPS went out. My daughter had set it for me, but I don't know if she, I don't know what she did, but when we were saying goodbye, you know, they went their way towards the Cape. I went my way towards Maine, and my GPS didn't talk to me the whole way home. And I do not know Boston. I don't know my way around there, and I was petrified. I didn't know whether I was going down one-way streets or what, but I actually pulled over and I asked a guy that was walking his dog and I said, could you please tell me how to get to I-95 North? And he told me, of course, it just goes in one ear and out the other. I got the gist of it, but not, like not the whole take a right here, take a left there. I just drove. And I actually said a little prayer, God, please don't let me get lost. Just please bring me home safe. I did not take a wrong turn. I did not get lost. I got on I-95 and by then I was good. But riding around in Boston, I am no good. 
I, it, I'm just not used to city streets because I'm a country girl. So anyways, guys, I hope you're all having a great night. And if I don't see you before the weekend, have a wonderful weekend and I'll talk to you all soon. Mwah. Bye.